and even self the living condi inside the uh, waterfront area it don't they very very unbearable and uh, sick of uh, the difficulties plus the feeding matter and to access to good means of livelihood since the inception of COVID-19 so you know they catch that at all some residents of Billy waterfront inside Portacot exit then they lament the continuous hardship uh, within the experience during the lockdown period and sick of the partial ease of the lockdown the residents and they express their concern on top of lack of government palliative and wait on the very difficult to live for the area right now you can see all the boat that we have they are packed they are not working because most of our customers the market have been locked down so they don't come to buy from us we have no no one to patronize us so our business is on a standstill it's not working most of us who work daily to earn for our living, feed our families, it has been really tough for us. This has been affecting us. The governor has never considered this set of persons, how these people will cope, how they will cope with their family, how they will survive. Yet he's taking this measure, we know he's protecting us. But what are you doing to protect the people who cannot feed themselves? Since how many months where the thing don't start now, I cannot able to come out to do business. Now today I just say make a come, come look when I come now, come see say small market go on. Now I say make a sample, say my my say go say go take care of my children. That's why I'm begging the governor that the governor should help us to open the market so that we the sell, uh, sellers we can able to sell and take care of our children. It really affects the business, but as you can see now. The boats are the boats are empty. No, the the buyers are not buying because, because since there is lockdown, borders are locked, so there's no way for uh, goods to come in this direction. So the thing that has really affected the whole system. As I speak to you now, so many people, so, so people are, they are hungry because since there's no work now, uh, no work, no money to eat. So what most people say depends from hand to mouth. So the thing has really affected the life of the business this, in this environment. And even self, some traders say that they find them very, very hard to sell within them. They sell to buyers and they find them difficult to locate them sake of the lockdown of a major market inside the state. Since the lockdown, there are no customer again. Even where we know if you carry this market, enter, we carry and enter. Even flying boat, if we use boat or waiting, they find how we will take, sell the market. No way. No people they pass, no body. You cannot see anybody to give the market to sell. Even in a bag with the bag, say, customer can't take customer. We don't feel see customer again, say, no customer. Nobody they from where I'm from, even the one they from river come, no way. But concerning this palliative of a thing, I myself, right from the day one it started, I've not seen anything at all in any way that has come to this environment, like the waterfront environment where people are living, nothing of such has come to us. And yet they ask us to be locked down in the house. And these people living in the waterfront here are job dealers. People dealing on job, feeding from ground to mouth and the rest, carrying of job and the rest of them all. So without means, how can they feed? There's no means of survival. Yet the governor locked us down inside the house and there is no palliative that has come to this waterfront. People have been crying here and there to an extent that some persons within my own environment have started breaking into one or two persons house just to steal food to survive. Because without that, them eating, there is no means of survival. So I would really like the government to pay visit to our own waterfronts. There are people living down there. Masses of persons living down there, people with families and the rest of them, or they should try and look into that and then send some palliatives to we that are living in the waterfront.